guys, I'm here again to solve the IMO 2020 problem 2 from algebra, which is an inequality problem. And my name is João Gilberti. I'm 14 years old. And using some strategies, I could solve myself this problem too, which I thought it was an easy, easy problem for the IMO problem 2. It, uh, I don't know, but in my opinion, it was an easy, not easy, but not difficult as the other problems too. Me and my friends, I don't know the others. But let's go to the question. Uh, the statement is like that. Uh, consider the four real numbers A, B, C, and D that satisfies these inequality. They have to be positive real numbers and they have to sum up to one. And we should prove that A to the A times B to the B times C to the C and D to the D uh, times a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d, it's less than 1. It's not less than or equal to 1. It's less than 1. And to you to prove it, we're going to use the, the uh, average inequality, the, the famous AMGM inequality. And let's, let's try to, to prove it using this, this strategy. And we're going to use actually the weighted AMGM inequality which is a little bit different, but a lot of people knows it. And I'm not going to prove it on this video because I think the, pro the proof uses induction and it's a little bit hard to explain. And I don't think you should explain it on the IMO. I don't know, I wasn't in the test, so I don't know. And so let's go to the video. Uh, so let's go to, to the strategy we'll use is that um, the AMGM weighted uh, average inequality says that if theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, and theta 4 are four real numbers uh, which sum up to 1, and W, X, Y, and Z are four real positive numbers, uh, we have the following inequality. We know that W, W, 2, the theta 1, W to the theta 1 times x to the theta 2 times y to the theta 3 times z to the theta 4. Uh, this is less than or equal. This is less than or uh, less than or equal to theta 1 times w plus theta 2 times uh, theta 2 times Ah, this have to be positive. Uh, theta 2 times y plus theta 3 times x. No, 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 no. Here is x. I'm just really sorry. Here is y. And theta 4 times z. Uh, this inequality holds for them. And I'm not going to prove it because it's very, uh, it's very, it's very long. And we use induction. Then, using this inequality, uh, we will apply to the to the case where A, B, C, and D uh, are theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, and theta 4, and A, B, C, and D are W, X, Y, and Z. So, let's go to the, to the following inequality. If we have this thing here, if this thing is true, we can substitute in A, B, uh, all these things here, and we get like A to the A, substituting a, for, uh, a in the place of W and A in the place of theta 1. And doing all the things, we have A to the A times B to the B times C to the C times D to the D is less than or equal to A times A plus B times B plus C times C plus D times D. Uh, this side we can write uh, as another way, like A squared plus b squared, plus c squared, plus d squared. So let's go to the, to the other board where I'll show you what we're going to do to prove it. After having this inequality, um, we, we can show, it's easy to see that one is equal to a plus b plus c plus d, uh, everything cubed because one cubed is equal to this cubed. And all we have to do is prove that 1, which is this thing, is bigger than uh, this term because this part is bigger than this. Then if we show that this thing is bigger than this thing, 
we automatically show our statement and prove the question and that's that's finished. Uh, all I did in, in these numbers and these whole letters and numbers uh, was expanding this term, this term and this term and you'll see what, what is, what's, what's going to happen and I'll cut some terms here, cut some letters and, and numbers and I'll pause the video, I'll cut the video here because it's very difficult to see um, to, to, to put in a video and it's going to be boring seeing me cutting the number so yeah I'm going to pause it hey guys I'm here again after some time then I cut some terms here I got this uh, uh, I actually got this this things to cancel and then I cancel out a lot uh, some other terms then I got something some things really nice like uh, on this, on this, on this inequality here, uh, after canceling out other terms, uh, you should see some inequalities between like um, a squared b and b cubed, and you'll see that you get to this inequality, and proving that this part, actually this sum, is bigger than this one, you'll get that just you have to prove that this part is bigger is bigger than zero. And it's not difficult given that all these numbers, all the numbers A, B, C, and D are bigger than zero. So if this thing here, this part here, is actually greater, is actually greater than this other part here, and this part is bigger than zero. It's nice to see because you just cancel out some things. It's not difficult to know ah, this part. Sorry, uh, it's not difficult to notice. Then we have our QED. QED. That's it, guys. Hope you liked the video. Give a like if you if you liked it. Subscribe in our channel in my channel. That's it. Uh, to the next. Goodbye.